Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to be taking a look at a 16 gig kit of RAM from Silicon Power. This is the X Gaming Turbine. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at a set of RAM. Now, this is a 16 gig kit of DDR4 3200 RAM running at the CAS latency speeds of 16, 18, 18, 38, T2. And they run at that at 1.35 volts, for those of you that are interested. And these are actually based on Samsung ICs, which I believe to be the Samsung B-Die, that coveted chip that a lot of people try to get when they want to squeeze as much as possible out of their RAM. Now these are actually factory rated with the XMP profile enabled at DDR3200. But with a little bit of tweaking, these will actually go up to as high as 3,600 megahertz. Now, there is actually a really fantastic review of these, which I saw, first of all, on tweettown.com, which I will be putting in the description below, so you can check that out for yourself with all the technical specifications and their testing methodologies. But for me, that was enough. That was what sold it. These are actually very good sticks of RAM. There isn't any real frills to them. They are very basic. They don't have RGB lighting and all that kind of stuff, but... They do have a custom 10 layer PCB, they're using Samsung chips, and they keep really cool, and they're really fast. So, what else could you want? Oh, a good price, well, that is included as well. These actually come in at a really good price, slightly dearer than the market value for RAM chips, but because of the use of the Samsung chips, I think that's more than worth it. So let's take them out and have a quick look at what they actually look like. Now, I've actually taken these out and used them, and uh, I've been using them in both a first generation Ryzen system and also in my Ryzen 2200G. I thought the extra, the speed frequency bump would actually be very helpful for the onboard graphics and I wasn't disappointed. Playing Battlefield 5 with these installed was a very smooth and responsive experience and actually I was contemplating needing an extra graphics card to run games on that box but it's actually turned out really well and with these installed it doesn't seem like I'm going to have to do it so I've spent a little bit more on the RAM but I've saved on a graphics card. So. That's pretty good. So this is the RAM sticks itself. And as you can see, there is a metallic blue heat spreader on there. That heat spreader not only is a aesthetic design, it also aids cooling. So with those fins on there, it does keep the RAM nice and cool and nice and stable. Now the actual size of these RAM chips are 38.2 millimeters high by 133.4 inches wide. So if maybe you've got a, a larger tower cooler on your system and you're worried about overhang, the total height is 38.2. So you shouldn't have any problems installing these in most systems. So these are actually available in a variety of guises from DDR2666 right away up to 4133 for those of you that want to have a nosebleed when you pay for your RAM. Now the CAS latencies go across the board from CAS latency 16 at the lower end for the 2666, the 3200 and the 3600 and CAS latency 19 for the 4133s which is to be expected. And again through that range the lower end the 2666 run at 1.2 volts, the 3200, the 3600 both run at 1.35 and the 4133 run at 1.4 volts. Now actually these will, with a slight voltage bump of 1.36, go up to DDR3600 speeds. So if you want to save a little bit of money and opt for the cheaper 3200 sticks, you can actually get that free performance boost out of these Samsung ICs. So there we go, there is a very quick and very concise intro to these Silicon Power X Gaming Turbine RAM chips. Like I said, if you want to see the full technical review, I would suggest you check out tweettang.com. Again, that will be in the description below. And these RAMs actually do come with a lifetime warranty, which you can activate by using the QR code, which is on the back of the box, uh, back of the packaging rather. So you do get a lifetime warranty with these, which is pretty much the norm with most RAM manufacturers these days. But again, it's still very nice to see. And like I said, these do come at a very good price, although it's slightly over the market value. Now at the moment, these are actually on Amazon, which actually seems to be one of the more expensive places to buy them, for around £60 for an 8 gig stick. So you're looking at about 120 for the 16 gig kit, two sticks. Now actually, when you do buy a kit as well, it's probably worth noting that when you buy a kit, they don't actually come as two sticks in one package. 
if you buy a 16 gig kit, you literally get two eight gig sticks. But for me, that hasn't been a problem. They seem to be very well matched and they run exceptionally well. No crashes and like I said, even on my earlier generation of Ryzen motherboard, switched on the XMP profile and they dialed in at their correct settings straight away. So there we go, there has been a quick overview and look at the Silicon Power X Gaming Turbine DDR4-3200 sticks. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.